Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. So I know what you're thinking. There is something different about me right now. And yes, you're right. I got a new hat. Now, in all seriousness, today is all about the mullet and what we're going to be doing, heading out in the jetty, catching some mullet in the cast net and cooking them up. Near the choppers, they're all just wanting to see my new mullet. But in all seriousness, let's try catch some mullet. So the thing is, mullet are extremely hard to catch on rods. That's in salt water. Sometimes in fresh water, you can get them on rods. But what we're going to be doing is catching them in the cast net. This is a brand new 10 foot cast net. I'm yet to try it. And yeah, hopefully we'll be able to catch some mullet in it today. It looks really good. Never caught a mullet in it before. And then what we're gonna be doing is cutting a fillet off, chucking it out on the rod. We might be able to catch a shark, pike eel or something like that. But no, I mean, I'll probably end up catching nothing. And then we'll be cutting another fillet off and trying mullet. Now, mullet's one of those fish that everyone looks past when they're fishing because they're good for bait and everyone thinks not much else. But apparently, they're really good when they're fresh. So I'm really excited to try that out today. Hopefully, we'll be able to get a big one in the mullet. So I've been fishing here all week. I've been trying to catch first on the list with sharks, then it went down to eels, and now it's mullet. It just keeps going down. Soon, I'll be trying to catch catfish. <laughs> Anyways, let's try to get one. Yeah, so pretty much, I'm not the best at cast. 10 foot cast nets but I'll give it a go and especially with this wind at the moment well I'm just gonna resort to it blame it on the wind if I do a bad throw anyways so yeah what you need to do is get it up in two big clumps like this I normally leave about a meter to 75 centimeters of net there then what you do grab it from the bottom bunch it up here do that about three times then grab about half of the net that's remaining there and then you're good to throw and it's always the first throw that's like the one that you need to get, but that's always the one that's the most terrible, but you know what, we'll give it a go. <laughs> we'll cut that. <laughs> Doesn't feel good. <laughs> Normally you can feel them kicking. I'm not surprised that there's nothing in here. Dinner is served. This is the type of fish that a guy with a mullet would catch. <laughs> and to think people say Australians have no culture. Um, pies, crocs and mullet, you can't get any better. Oh god, don't drop him out the bottom. <laughs> this mullet episode might turn into a catch and cook brim, but you know what, that's alright. I'm not the best at filleting brim as you might have seen in my previous videos, but you know what, we'll get through it. So we'll go chuck this guy in the live well and keep casting. Look at that little flatty, we're catching everything but mullet in the cast net. We've caught like 15 species and it hasn't been mullet. Right, see you buddy. couldn't catch any mullet we cast netted for about an hour and got nothing my arms are really tired but you know I didn't even want to eat mullet anyway so we caught these two brim in the cast net and we're gonna cook them up now this one's actually pretty big it'd probably be about 35 centimeters let's go cook them up all right so there we go we caught that brim it's not a mullet but I'm gonna name them mullet so I can always say mullet catch and cook anyways we're gonna cut a fill it off chuck it on this do some stuff with the flour and whatever and then cook it up so we'll start like this I've done this a fair few times before and I've never really mastered it. As you can see, I'm not doing anything to it because I'm running out of light right now. Although it might look right on camera, it's about seven o'clock at the moment, so. Right, so there's one brim fillet. It's not great, so we'll just take the other side off as well. The brim don't have that much meat on them anyway. They're a pretty bony fish, but you know what? This fillet's looking really good. Take a look at that. That's gonna be a really tasty fillet, so we'll wash it off in here and cook them up. All right, so what we're gonna do now is we'll light this up, turn it on, and get that going, get that pan heating up. Yep, that's lit right there. We'll put some flour in here, oil in the pan. I think I put way too much in, but that's okay. This is just corn flour, first thing I found in the cupboard. We'll get the fillets and we'll drop them in here and add some milk to it and make a bit of a dough. All right, there we go. There's one fillet, we'll chuck it in the oil. 
Alright, so we're not even going to bother taking the skin or anything off that one. We're just going to pick the meat off of it. And here is fillet number two. Well, there's my mullet catching cook where I got to wear a mullet, but I didn't even catch one. It was a pretty good day. Hope you all enjoyed the video. Did a bit of cast netting and everything. Managed to catch a broom. No mullet, but that's okay. We caught like every other species but a mullet in the whole canal. And anyways, we're cooking up the fish at the moment. So yeah, I'm really excited to taste it. The fillets are cooking up nicely. Looks nice and crispy and probably almost ready to eat. All right, so that's been about five minutes on each side and it looks amazing. So we'll get it off and give it the taste test. All right, so I was trying to catch some mullet today. Or if someone comments mullet, I'm going oh, to... Oh, mate. All right, here we go. <laughs> Very crunchy. I'll tell you one thing, that's the brimmiest tasting mullet I've ever eaten. Well, you know what they say, when life gives you brims, make brimonade. <laughs> And yeah, thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you leave a like, subscribe, and comment down below. If you do want to subscribe and turn on post notifications, all you need to do is click the big red button down there and then hit that little bell sign next to it. And if you want to check out what I'm doing in my daily life, make sure you go out and follow me on Instagram. My username's just Miller Wilson. Make sure you check out some of my other catch and cook videos right here or somewhere on the screen down there or something. Um, I got a whole lot of them, so if you like this kind of stuff, make sure you go check it out. Yeah.